Here comes the United States of America. Shooting for the bronze medal in the mixed team event, USA, Jamie Van Natta, Chris Schaff. USA, the number three qualified team coming into this event. And here come their opponents for the bronze. Please give a warm welcome, Team India. Team India, the number eight team in the world. And their representatives are Jyothi Sureka Venam, Abhishek Virma, Our World Archery International judge for this match is Mr. Ray Cortez, as we're going to be getting underway. Athletes, please prepare. And USA should be first. You say you shoot first. You say you shoot first. India shoot second. Range clear. Begin the match. Well, Roy Cortez, there, our line judge here for the first match, and it's the USA shooting first on target two. And that's at Jamie Van Natta and Chris Schaff. It's four ends of four arrows. An accumulative score. Get the top score at the end of the four ends, and you win the bronze medal. Line judges just pop back out. Cortez must have spotted something on the range. It's a 50 meter range, and the athletes are shooting at an a target that's just 80 centimeters in diameter. Oh, we can hear the horns going off, and I think they've had to reset the timing system. Of course, there's a countdown clock here uh, on uh, in the archery tournament, with an average of 20 seconds per arrow. I think the timing system is all important. Yes, it is. It's important that, it, uh, that the timing is set correctly that the match runs smoothly. It's 20 seconds these match these archers have to shoot an arrow. It is not very long. Well, take two. It looks like we're going to get underway. A reminder that it's the USA shooting first, the world number four team of Jamie Van Natter and Chris Schaff. And it's Jamie Van Natter to shoot first. Come on, girl, pin it. Eight points to start. Eight and seven. Just out. Come on, Grant. Put it in there. Grant. Nine. Well, the American shooting 17 out of a possible 20 from the first two arrows. So next up is India who are the world number seven team, Jyoti Sureka Venom and Abhishek Verma. India opens with a nine. Well, level pegging, both shooting 17 out of a possible 20 here. Two more arrows per team, and we're back to the Americans and Jamie Van Natter. They came through qualification, ranked eight in the tournament. Nice, 10 and 11, 10 and 11. You're good, buddy. You're good. There it is. Yeah. 
I noticed a wind shift from earlier in the earlier matches today. Chris and Jamie, three out of the first four arrows to this tournament were to the left, and uh, they adjusted very quickly. Well, Abhishek Verma and Jyoti Sareka Venom, they came through qualification ranked third here in Salt Lake City. They're going to trail by at least one here. And a 10 ensures that it is just one point, and 36 plays 37 after the first end. Vic, the wind has been troublesome. It has, it has. It's been blowing very hard today, having and flowing, coming and going. But I did notice that the wind shifted from, from what it was earlier, resulting in some left arrows there initially. Those two that were right together, that tells me the Americans shot two very good shots. They just didn't have the wind pick. But look how quickly they adjusted moving into the 10 ring. Perfect, and these graphics are superb, aren't they, Vic? They are, they are. It helps, helps everybody at home get a better picture of what's going on. British country, and you're looking at a situation where there's a lot of pressure on the Indian team to be ready to up and running. Their just see here the, the wind, uh, you know, it's affecting the athletes. They're just holding on a little bit, I noticed here, but uh, looks like we're ready to get underway for the second end. Of course, the trailing team shoot first in archery. Just one point in it. But uh, I think as Vic was intimating, the USA might have got their sights in a little bit earlier. The, they had uh, experience on the field here earlier today where they won a, both a gold and a bronze medal between the two of them. So they have had the advantage of already getting a few arrows in on this competition field. Well, the Indians will get to shoot first here in the second end. Super fast, the uh, mixed team event in compound archery. To see the agents uh, down at the target end of the field, still recovering the arrows from the first end, and so our line judge Roy Cortez is uh, just holding up the beginning of the second end and uh, it looks like we are just about to get underway and you can see that windsock on the left hand side flipping around all over the place Abhishek Verma up to start proceedings in the second end of the mixed team bronze medal match Boy, you can see that wind pushing her around a full draw. She did a good job executing a shot despite the wind that she was taking on that. 19 out of 20. Jamie Van Natta for the USA. Well, a little bit of a grimace there. She wasn't so happy with that one, but got away with it a little bit with an eight. Come on, big guy. The door has opened for India here. They lead by two points halfway through the second end. And just out of the ten ring, it's a nine. Nine. Well, a nine means the USA can draw level in this end, but they will have to shoot two tens. Jamie has been shooting for 28 years, and she was one, and she has been shooting since the beginning of the World Cup series. So she is a very experienced archer in this field. 
dropping an eight there, which has Bravo. opened the door for India. And uh, eight seconds left on the clock here. Chris Schaff, under pressure, still manages to shoot a ten. USA will be shooting first when we resume. Still half the match yet to go. Well, you can see that India have uh, stolen the lead just by one point. And it took them a while to get their sights in. The blustery conditions have uh, definitely played a part, but Vic, here are all the Indian arrows so far. Yes, yeah, so they got a little low left, or a little low right, and a few high left, and a couple in the middle. So the wind's kind of pushing them around on that back and forth, but their average, the average of the group's good. It was interesting, uh, halfway through on that end, that the wind did start to bluster up again. It settled down and then changed to being blustery again and swirling around. And one thing archers don't like are these eddy currents and changeable conditions. They, they have two options when they get this wind. They can aim off or they can move their sight. Oftentimes in a changing wind like this, archers will choose to just aim off because they know that wind might change from arrow to arrow. If it's a consistent wind, some will aim off, some will adjust their sight. Interesting insight there to the, what the archers are doing on the shooting line, and it will change from end to end, from match to match. And of course, the conditions here in the finals range very different to qualification. Come on. So trailing now, the USA will shoot first. This is the third end of the mixed team bronze medal match between the USA and India. Strong shot, top of that Henry. Uh, another one dropped, this time to the left slightly. Uh, seven, but you could see Jamie Van Natter's hat, the peak of her cap just flipping up in that wind. And that one's gone left as well, and uh, Chris Schaff there just uh, letting off a little whoop as a sign that he wasn't happy with that. So, Abhishek Verma has seen what the wind is doing at the beginning of the third end. He adjusted nicely to that. I noticed some of the flags up on top of the stadium have changed directions from what they were a little while ago. Right, so. Just drifting left, but a nine. Driving seat here for India. So Jamie Van Natter needs to recover from uh, the seven she scored in her first arrow. It's 10-3, 10 10 she, she made the adjustment and caught a right 10 on that one. Boy, that thing was going you have to adapt easy. quickly in these wind, changing oh, wind conditions. Time ticking away. Oh, another one. Great stuff there from the Americans. Put the pressure on. But you have to say, India in the driving seat here for the chance of extending their lead. Siraka Venom there just readjusting. Maintain the key. Bow time. Good shabash. Took a time, gets a 10, and the one point lead they came into this end with has extended to four. And mentioned that the conditions in the finals range are different to uh, how they are out onto the qualification field. Very open on the qualification field. And here we see uh, the comparison of uh, both sets of arrows, Vic. Ah, so the USA team has so several arrows that are low left and a few that are high right in the 10 ring where the India team has uh, uh, some arrows low right and high left, so they're almost uh, running different quadrants on this whole thing. Yeah, a little bit of a mirror there from uh, both teams. It's great to see them.
But uh, the shooting line here is shielded by uh, the uh, spectator stand. And then about halfway down the range here for the finals, it opens right up. So you've got a headwind on the shooting line and uh, then a crosswind halfway down the range. Tricky, huh? It is. Jamie had commented to me earlier, Banana had commented to me earlier in this, that it's almost harder to read the wind because she can't feel the wind on her at the shooting line the same as what is affecting the arrow down range. So it makes it a little bit of a guessing game. That's when you hope you make a perfect shot and know how much to adjust. Come on, girl. It's like the last one. Get up on it. Get up on it. Stay up on it. Stay up. Get him. Nice 10 and nice seven. Nice 10 there to start for Zheng Van Natter. And you saw a little it? sneaky uh, smile Great on her fighting. face there. Holy cow. Great arrow. Come on, buddy. That was a nice calm touch. Get it. Nice. Good early pressure set here in the final end of the bronze medal match by the USA. They trail by four coming in. Check Verma to shoot first Let for India it. here in the last end. Well, they've leveled up on score, and there's just two arrows to go here. Momentum shifted to the USA at a crucial time. It can change fast sometimes. Please, Lord, just let her get it. Oh, dear, that one's dropped very low. And a five, unusual, unusually you could, low you score. You could tell, tell the wind gust hit her right about the time she was shooting it. And that one pulling left and into the seven. So they open the door with two tens, the USA, and put themselves right back into the match. And India have a massive chance to get the bronze here. Well, they just need to hit the target here, and it's all done for India. Oh, and a beautiful 10 to finish, and uh, there will almost certainly be a measure for that five, but uh, it can only be upgraded to a six, and a, and a rather large win, perhaps a, a little bit... Um, not really reflective of uh, the actual match in the end there 12 points that's a pretty that's a pretty big spread sometimes when these archers shoot is a very fine line between a perfect shot and one and one that's way off if the wind gust catches you it only takes a tenth of a second for that arrow to go astray well there you go India have taken the bronze ten, here ten. at the third stage ten, of ten, 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 the Hyundai ten, Archery ten. World Cup in Salt Lake City there is a measure going on at the moment, but uh, it won't make any difference to the results. There you have confirmation. India have taken bronze here in Salt Lake City. Six at seven. There it is. Here we see some of those highlights. And it's interesting that the wind again has played a factor here in this match. But ultimately, you have to take your hats off to the Indians under pressure. They came from behind and then they closed it out at the end when the USA made a couple of mistakes, having put themselves right back in it. But India have taken the mixed compound bronze medal here in Salt Lake City.